Crafty Monsters, how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is fabulous! So, in today's fabulous tutorial, we are going to be making these little luscious chocolate bunny Easter cards because uh, Easter is a hopping over here quick, Bobo. And these little guys are perfect little ideas for you to put an easy little card together. And on this project, we did use our Word Microsoft to print this out, so we did not use any stamps. So we just printed this out and we cut it out and we backed it on some yellow paper. You guys will see right there, this little chocolate bunny. I actually got this from the Crick Cut and had it cut out, but there's a lot of like silhouettes online that you could go ahead and print out and then just use those as templates, whatever little shape of a bunny that you guys want to use. The little scallop um, ovals, those are some nesting dies by Sizzix. And then we just use some DSP paper in the back to give it a little bit of interest. These are these little enamel dots that we did in a previous video and we used them on this. This is a cute little way to use your little enamel dots. And without wasting any more time guys, because I know you guys want to get down and dirty with the little crafting. Let's get down and dirty and I will see you guys in a bit. Alrighty my little crafty monsters, let's get down and dirty and make these little bad boys right here. So this is the little chocolate bunny. Easter card we're going to be making and we are going to use this printed sentiment that we printed out on our Microsoft Word. These are really easy cards and you really don't need a lot of stuff. These are the stuff that I printed out on my computer off of Microsoft Word. I just did a little sentiment in the middle and then I did some little banners for the front which are these Happy Easter. And this is the card base. If you guys don't know about card bases and card mats there will be a link in the bottom. So all we're going to do is just go ahead and glue our card mat onto our card base and you could use whatever colors you guys want. I just felt that these colors were kind of cute colors for that, for um, Easter. Why was I going to say Valentine's? You are too crazy, boo-boo. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> I thought these were perfect for um, Easter. And I'm going to go ahead and just get that sentiment and I'm going to go ahead and glue it in here. So sometimes you don't need to have stamps, you guys, if you guys don't have any stamps. You guys could definitely just print something out. Just do a little sentiment and cut it to size. Those little bunnies you guys just saw, I cut those out on my quick cut. And um, if you don't have one, you can go ahead and just print out a silhouette of a bunny and then just use that as a pattern. These are my nesting scallop ovals and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out some cardstock out of two sizes, the very largest one and then the next size down. And I'm going to just go ahead and cut them out on two different colored papers. Just any colors that I think would be really, really good for um, the Easter theme. I mean, whenever you think of Easter, you always think of bright, colorful, fun colors, right? So, yeah. <laughs> so right here now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and measure this little sentiment banner that we printed out on our Microsoft Word. And we're going to go ahead and cut out a piece of cardstock that we can use to back this sentiment just to give it a little extra something to look at and not just a plain white little banner. And like I said, um, we're going to just back this up on this and then we are going to use some um, homemade enamel dots that we made ourselves. And if you guys don't know about that, there will be a tutorial coming up soon. So this is my 10 second bow maker and we're gonna go ahead and make a little bow because every chocolate bunny has to have a little bow on it. Well, at least that's the way I remember them. So we're gonna go ahead and just make a little bow, which I thought was super cute out of this yellow um, little ribbon. And we're gonna go ahead and use some of this um shimmer spray and this is i think it's is it tatered something angel i don't remember what it's called but i did get these from um i purchased these from oh my god why can't i say it <laughs> tuesday mornings oh my god i couldn't even say it so anyway i purchased those at tuesday mornings but you could also find them at hobby lobbies and at michael's they're about like five dollars a piece so anyway i went ahead and i sprayed one of those little ovals just to give them a little bit of shimmer and glitter and then now i'm just taping this little 
bow onto my little chocolate bunny before I back that up on the little pink bunny. And then I'm just using my, um, I'm just using my tape runner just to go ahead and stick these little bad boys on a little faster and quicker. Um, normally I use my little wet adhesive, but we like to just change it up sometimes. So I'm just using a little bit of hot glue to put this little googly eye in because I thought that this little bunny needed a little googly eye. Then comes the fun part. All we're going to do is just go ahead and start layering these oval scallops or scallop ovals, <laughs> whichever order you want to say it in. And I'm really keeping this easy and simple. And the reason why I use those little ovals is because they kind of reminded me sort of like a little egg. And then you have the little bunny in front of the little scalloped egg or whatever you want to call them. Then after we've done this, we've already finished the whole entire card. And all we're going to do is just put our little sentiment in the very front, which I thought was super cute. And then we're going to be getting some of these enamel dots. These are some homemade enamel dots that I made. Now, if you guys are interested on in making some of these, stay tuned for the tutorial. Oh my God, for the tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> he got tongue twisted right there. Jesse, calm down, boo-boo. Don't get too excited. So stay tuned for the tutorial. It will be this Friday's tutorial. So on Friday, you guys will see how I made these little enamel dots. So this is basically it, guys. This is the little card. How cute are these little chocolate bunny little cards? Makes you want to just take a bite out of them, huh? But you can't because they're paper. And that's that's it, guys. Welcome back, my little crafty monsters. That's how easy it was to make these little bad boys using our little printer, using our Cricut, Cut, using our Sizzix. So, I mean, we used all kinds of things right here. And this was just a good way of showing you guys that if you don't have any stamps or any sentiments, you guys don't have to worry because, hello, we printed this little bad boy out and we did the font and we, you know, we did it however we wanted. And look at how professional that card looks, right? Because it's printed out. And you could do like four in a page on your Microsoft Word. So it's really, really easy. You guys will, I mean, you guys didn't see me do that part. But if you guys work with Microsoft Word, you guys will know how easy it is just to go ahead and make that. So anyway, anyway, I hope that inspired you guys to make some of these little bad boys so that you can go ahead and give these out as a birthday card to somebody that their birthday is in around Easter, Easter season. Um... Or maybe you just want to give one to one of your little boo-boos, huh? Oh, car. <laughs> anyway, my little crafty monsters, I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. You definitely need to subscribe, guys. The button is just right there, boo-boo. And it's free. I mean, it is free. And then we become BFFFFs. Go ahead and tell a friend and share because uh, sharing is caring, as I always say. And that's it for now, my little crafty monsters. Until next time. Bye.